Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure in our Pathfinder 2nd Edition campaign. It's a homebrew campaign, and we are really excited to be here. Uh, I'm Bryce, I'll be your Dungeon Master, and uh, I started role-played games, and these are my friends. Hello, friends. Hi. Uh, we are going to do a fun fact for uh, each episode from now on, at least as long as we remember. So, fun fact, my first character in Pathfinder was a sorcerer, and he might have been a pyromaniac so that was my very first character and josh and i played in that campaign together so sure. clarify fun fact is about us oh yeah see that's what i was your fun say. fact is about your character but okay. i don't have a character that's, that's fair oh, that's so, so i just wanted so to make much sure <laughs> yes yeah so your fun <laughs> fact is about your character i don't want to start saying a fun fact about my character and everyone else is saying <laughs> like fun fact about themselves <laughs> Like, well, we all I have know that nothing beside this game going on. We all know that Dungeons and Dragons is just secretly your way of living out all of your <laughs> inner desires. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, with that clarified, hi, my name is Tim, and I am playing Gazmak Trustygob, a monkey goblin sorcerer and entrepreneur. Uh, fun fact about Gazmak: so Trustygob is his family name, which is a part of the clan Ustygob. There are a number of different families that we'll be talking about in the future for fun oh, facts geez. in the future, but they're the Ustigob clan. So way too yes. many places to take that. Wow. <laughs> Ustigobs. That yes. just sounds like they're like, hey, Usby Gobs. That's, that's exactly correct. <laughs> different branches like Musty Gob. Yes. And yes. Fusty yes. Gob. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. You're ruining all the future fun facts. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Right. I mean, I the cops are the <laughs> justy guys. No, no, no. Actually, that's not correct. I already have a story for justy guys. <laughs> but, uh, well, I'll explain it then. Uh, uh, it, so, the clan, the family name is only named once someone special does something, and then he gets, he or she gets their, like, family name, and then you're a part of that family. So, the justy gobs. It was Fanny Pack Justy Gob was the starter of the, the branch, and he was a famous goblin dentist because he works on just the gob, just the uh, mouth. He was the world's greatest dentist. So, fanny pack, justy gob. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can't wait to talk more about fanny pack, justy gob. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's amazing. I'm Rachel. I play Anasha Evanvale. A monk eager to turn her philosophy into velocity. And more really cheesy stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So, so Rachel and Caleb, they're both kind of special because we did switch up the cameras a little bit. You can look into either camera yes, and, that's true. at this you guys point are in time. Yeah. Twice. Yep. That's they only cool. get CRL to mug once. Yeah, which is for the best. <laughs> nice. So. Okay. Um, fun fact Anasha can't sing at all, she's really bad at it. Um, and then, in addition to that, I have a monk saying of the day, which is, even a fish wouldn't get into trouble if it keep its mouth shut. So there you go. There's your wisdom oh, I like today. That. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Biting hooks and such, Tim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Tim looked real confused. I am. I was like, isn't that how they breathe? Yes. <laughs> that is how they breathe. <laughs> they have, that's why they have their mouth open, so the water can go past their gills. So they might not get in trouble, but they'll die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe that's maybe that's the, the, the uh, lesson. That's the only uh, way to not get in trouble. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> that got dark. I, had in to, life. I mean, come on. No, no. What that's a very deep lesson. In life, you either die or you get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> deep very sea philosophy. Facts. It's yeah. hard to do both. <laughs> so I am Caleb. I am playing Ko Dashik, who is a wizard folk champion. And a fun fact about myself is... That I am a single child, and I did have siblings, but my parents ate them while they were eggs because they only wanted one kid. It's dark. Also, I grew up in isolation. Fun, and harshness. fun fact. You guys should keep track of your fun facts because I'm sure it could come oh, back no to worry. bite you. This one is deeply ingrained. <laughs> I would oh, say God. so. Less fun fact. Um, my name is Josh. I am playing Cipher Underfoot, a halfling rogue. Uh, thief, criminal, so on and so forth. 
And my fun fact is a little bit meta in that his last name comes from an ability that he has to basically hide and fight in the same square, the same space as a creature larger than him. So I'm going to be using these two as cover to be able to stab bad guys in the lower bits. <laughs> Specifically. Lovely. <laughs> That's all I can reach. <laughs> so last time, uh, we were, we just got into the town um, of Enswood. So we just arrived, uh, or you'd finally arrived. You ended up spending the night at the Shifty Saddle. Uh, the three of you all got a bed, and or got your own room, and Josh basically got a bunk. Uh, but he has his own foot locker, which is the most important thing. It's true. It's the most I've had in a while. Especially since he's pretty much got all the equipment and stuff with him that came off the, the, uh, bad guys from our, uh, bandit attack that they stopped. So that is where we're starting. Everyone is sound asleep or soundish asleep in their beds. And Gazmak hears a knock on his door. Yeah. <laughs> Who's there? It's Claude. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I go and open the door, and I welcome him in. Him in. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> I knew you were the right one. <laughs> There's trouble at the farm. Gather your friends and meet me there. Uh, and then he just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any, any more context that you can, you can give me? For starters, what farm? <laughs> you know what farm, because that's where you staged the horses, and you were planning on buying horses oh, the next day. Okay. All right. I, uh, I go... <laughs> Let's see. Gazmak probably would not be gentle in how he wakes people up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead and, like, pound on both of their doors at the same time. <laughs> Just like bah, 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 for for these two, okay. and and yell, uh, "Hey, breakfast is ready!" Because <laughs> I figured that's the best way that I would get it. That's what would motivate me to get out of bed. Yeah, that motivates me. I, I perk up and I like food. And then <laughs> run upstairs and I'll do the same for Josh too, for Cipher. How are you going to decipher? You just on the end of his bed, or uh, no? I'm just gonna poke my head up through like so. There's like a stairway. I imagine like a stairway. That, that goes up and then there's just a big long bunk open house. space. Yep. So I literally just like poke my head through it and they're like, "Hey, Seltzer! Hey!" Because <laughs> he's no good with names. Hey, breakfast is ready. Come downstairs. We got something to chat about. You call him Seltzer? Seltzer. Yeah. It's Seltzer. It's Seltzer. It's Seltzer. <laughs> You're crow. <laughs> yeah, that one fits pretty well. So, so I move downstairs. So you're moving downstairs. Just, yeah. Okay. Motivated solely by food. What time is it? <laughs> it's early morning. Oh, so breakfast is definitely not ready. <laughs> yeah, breakfast is not ready at this point. <laughs> like, you, you're you going to get downstairs. You'd be first. It's a toss-up. How fast did you get up? Um, I perked up, but I, it took me time to get ready. Okay, so you'd be the first downstairs. <laughs> the only thing that's ready is the, are the biscuits. Oh, that's good enough. No, so, that sounds terrible to me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So, as you come downstairs, uh, Faye is there, and uh, she set out the biscuits, and there's someone in the back cooking. Um, but yeah, she's the only one there. There's no one else in the room yet. I, uh, I sit down at a table, okay. and... <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> And, and and shadows lounging up on the corner, up on the uh, what would be the stage. So he, it's too early for shadow. I don't sleep super well, especially indoors right now. So I would, as soon as he walked, like open the door, it would have woke me up. So I just get dressed and go down. And so I'm probably next down. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what, how, are the biscuits just out on the table? It's up on the bar. It's just. All right. It, it um, looks like they're cooling a little bit. All right. But... Then I'll definitely steal one on my way over. Okay. As Nag one too. 
I don't see none. Yours is you free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But I mean, I guess sad would mean stealing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's part of your sad. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And uh, Faye comes out with some water and just sets like a, a pitcher of water and a couple glasses out. Thank you, Faye. And you're meditating? I'm not, definitely not downstairs yet. I'm going to take my sweet time. I don't think as much as we can for anything. I imagine that she's been up since like 4 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. I have, but when have you ever been serious? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still just going to finish what I'm doing. You know, just... Doing your morning stretches and practicing your forms. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> You're going to have to look up some monk forms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> monk forms are what the forms you do because you're a monk. Yes. Mm. Oh, all right, I'll come down. Now. All right, so you, you all have made it downstairs. <laughs> so, uh, breakfast wasn't quite ready, but there's some biscuits. Uh, so our, our friend Claude, uh, Clock, sorry, sorry, Clock. <laughs> it's definitely his name. Our friend Clock, uh, said there was, um, said there was trouble at the, the farm, the farmhouse, something like that. So, uh, he asked me to come get you guys. I don't know why he delegated that to me, but... I have no idea why he chose me either, but uh, there you go. <laughs> Squeaky wheel. <Greece. laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say we, we go help our buddy Claude out? Let's Clock. go. Yeah, let's go. What about breakfast? Uh, It'll be here when we get back. All right. Hey, uh, Faye, can we, uh, could you put some breakfast aside for us? We're, we're going to go do a favor for our friend Claude. <laughs> sure thing. So that'll be three meals, yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah. All right. Do you, do you grab another biscuit on the way out? No, I I, I don't want to push my luck. You're not going to risk it for the biscuit. Oh, oh, not yet. That way. <laughs> All right. So uh, you head out into the street and uh, end up crossing the road. Uh, that's where the main barn is, and the barn's built into the side of. Uh, the fortifications that have been put up. So uh, the barn, then there's fortifications, and then the back side of the barn opens up into the field area. So you enter the barn, and uh, as you're walking by, you see Claude and Sanja uh, seem to be helping a couple animals that appear to be injured, and uh, they are talking there. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I found them this morning. Uh, we were bringing the cattle to milk, and uh, several of them appear to be hurt, uh, and she's trying to figure out exactly what happened. And uh, th- there's there's also a couple that are dead out in the field still that I'll have to uh, bury s- what bury kind of soon. Animals are these? Uh, cattle. Okay. Yep. And uh, so Claude's there helping, uh, doing what he can. He doesn't have any healing spells or anything like that, but he's just trying to be useful. They seem to have bonded at least a little last night. Can we look at any of the injuries and try to figure out what kind they are? Sure, you can roll medicine or nature. Ooh, equally awesome. Really terrible. Roll <laughs> 20. 16. They're both 17. Uh, uh, that's a whopping 5. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I did roll a 20 for medicine. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, from what you can tell, there are several bite marks, uh, larger bite marks, that uh, appear to have drained them of some of their blood. So other than just the blood missing, can we tell, like, lupine, feline, you know, what type of animal might have... It is a single gouge, uh, so much larger than any needle. Um, It looks like it probably came from a tiny creature, but so not diminutive, Okay, but tiny. But it's not like... One step smaller a, than you. A jaw mark, like teeth. No, it is not teeth. It is there's no scratches. Just a, it is just, but there are several of them, <clears throat> on each animal. All right. Would I have seen wounds like this before? You probably would have. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see for that. Roll nature. All right. Uh, not enough. Okay. Seven. Seven. Uh, it seems like, I mean, you've seen a slave come back with, with, stuff like that, on with that on them, usually around some sort of water, but you're, you've never interacted with whatever it is. 
You know unicorns, right? You know. Unicorns are much bigger than this. <laughs> Trust me. At least you think they are. <laughs> The the unicorns that I've seen. The unicorns that I've sold. Yeah, yeah, so what about fairy unicorns? Uh, I haven't gotten, gotten any of those yet. Um, so this is uh, something that happened at night, correct? I assume it did happen night. overnight, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I ask Sanja and Claude if they've seen uh, anything like this before here. Uh, Sanja's... She said that she's never really had any problems or anything like this before. Um, and based on what she's seeing, it looks like it's some sort of animal that did this. Um, and she gives you directions out into the field to where it happened. You'd be able to examine the was, dead bodies that, as well. That's what I was about to ask. Yep. And uh, I'll also check the area to see if there are trails or yeah. tracks away. Yep. So once you... Any other questions for them before you head out? Okay. Uh, how many, approximately, how many animals have been injured versus not injured? Uh, there are three that they're tending to, and you do not know how many are dead. Okay. They haven't had anyone search and take a tally yet. Uh, there's, it's, I mean, there's a large amount of cattle um, and other animals. Uh, for some reason, it just seems that the cattle are the ones that were affected. Uh, but they're also the ones that tend to roam the furthest away at night. So there are other animals out there, but they yeah. didn't get. Yep. Yeah, so the pigs are usually normal, normally closer to the barn. Uh, some of the other animals, you know, horses, they are a little faster than cattle. Um, but yeah, the cattle tend to herd up. And one last question for Asanja. So, uh, what's on the edge of your fields? Like, what's like what separates the border? Is there a fence? Is it forest? Is there a river? Uh, we've got some wooden fencing along most of it, uh, closer to the. Uh, it's tree line uh, to the south of us, and it's it's a small wooded area, not very large. Uh, I think there's a a small pond back there, not worth fishing in, but uh, I've seen some frogs and stuff like that out there. And uh, usually along that forest, there is uh, some briars that we really didn't have to fence up because it was just so thick that most animals wouldn't go through. satisfied. So should we roll perception as we get closer to the... Yes, so you'll head over towards the animals. All right, so you head over to the animals, and uh, as you get closer, there are two animals that are uh, deceased there. Well, Can I tell anything more about uh, let's investigate what yeah. might or might not have happened to them with the, with the dead ones as opposed to the merely injured? Uh, the they do have more holes in them than the other ones, and that is likely what has uh, caused the extra damage, so to say. There's a lot of blood around them. They bled out. Not a lot of blood at all. Is there anything on the wounds as like a lot poison? Um, how would you like to test for that? Just observation. I'm not going to. <laughs> just, just checking. Basically, looking for like roll medicine or nature. All right. No. Nope. Or thievery. I'll even give you thievery because that would be what you could apply some of your poisons and stuff to. Ten. Ten flat. Uh, from what you can tell, there's no necrotic. Okay. Anything happening around the wounds? They assume, yeah, seem to be just like, pierced, like discoloration or any fluids that weren't blood, you know, or maybe saliva. So, and there is a little like bit of puddling that. that's left, but not much. Um, you'd expect much more from anything that had been slaughtered. Uh, can you check for like footprints or drag marks or anything like that, like leading to or away from the scene or anything like that? 
Alright, uh, roll survival for anyone that's trying to track. Ooh. 12. 12. 25. 25. That's, a, that's our winner. <laughs> uh, so there are some uh, larger, I guess, weeds or like hay that's grown up in the area. And you do notice that there's no trail, but the tips of them, some pieces have blood on the very tip. So there's a blood trail that I can follow? Sort of, but not a trail like you'd normally have. Like, normally you'd see a trail where it's on the ground and you're following almost footsteps or some sort of right. movement. This is just droplets. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I basically call everybody over and go, all right, guys, what we're looking for are tiny creatures that are likely flying, but low, because only the tips, tippy tops of all this grass has blood on it. So if you look and I kind of point out the zigzag trail as we're going along. Yeah. Observation. All right, so that is moving you over towards the tree line. Um, you get there, and there are a bunch of briars and such, and doesn't appear to have any broken area in the briars. Well, that, Which that supports works with your the theory tiny the flying sure. critters. Do you all know of anything like that? Any birds? Any uh, giant mosquitoes? Or bats? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I don't want to go where you're Generally, they're pointing noses aren't quite big enough to do the damage that we saw, generally. <laughs> and those aren't... What would mosquitoes be? They wouldn't be tiny, they would be... Diminutive. Diminutive, that's right. Yep. Which is oh. rural, rural little. Itty bitty. So, are they definitely creatures? Yes. Because I'm just thinking, no, no, I hear, okay. It wasn't a wish. No, 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 I'm, here's what I'm thinking. It's a little, I'm just thinking that there's something to do with the briars. Because briars would be like thorns, and they're like poking, like low to the ground, they've got needles, they're poking stuff. Well, to that end, do we see do we have just giant pools of blood where like, like a shrike could come by and stuff these things <laughs> on there and then taking them back? Well. Because that would I'm be. Just, I'm just, oh, they're bigger, aren't they? Bigger than regular thorns? What? Like the, the, the holes? Oh. Yeah, they would have been slightly bigger than... Yeah, it most definitely bigger than thorns. Alright. I mean, it was a reason. Uh, yeah, it was, no, it wasn't reasonable, reasonable, reasonable. yeah. No, no. Alright. Yep. We're not near any accounts. Listen. No, I just there, want to there's make sure no that I'm not jumping area. into the maws of some <laughs> giant... <laughs> tree creature. Tree creature. That's gonna eat. <laughs> Your trees are your protection. I was like, turns out, it turns out guys makes terrifying trees. <laughs> 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 oh, Not yeah, yeah. Yeah, All right. Um, well, they're just big plants. Doesn't make any sense. There's, there's no chance that the cows. I guess the only way you would see it would probably be around the eyes or like lips where the skin's exposed. It's not like pale from blood being like sucked out of them. Well, he he said that there was, there was like probably no blood. No, there no blood. There's like no blood left. Yeah, yeah. anything that was left dribbled out, but most of it is gone. I guess I was trying to make a difference between poison versus like something that got in, sucked blood out, and then made it like pale. I guess. Right. So we're near like fence and tree line and stuff. Yep. All right, yeah. crow. Yeah. This is gonna sound weird. <laughs> I want you to throw me up into that tree over the over the. All over the branches and stuff. Oh, this is going to end poorly. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw me up into one of the highest trees. It's, you, I'll, I'll grab on. I'm go, I'm a monkey goblin. I've been right, actually waiting for you. Realize, you, <laughs> you do realize if he slips, you land into this giant briar. Even box. better if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I can't. Coach show his true colors. I want to watch this. Can I, can I get under the tree or not? Listen, <laughs> you, no, it's just briar. I there's, mean, there's, there's a trees on, yeah, and briars. Well, you know. I've only got a so, lifespan of 25 years to begin with, so. It, it, it's like the edge of most forests. So everything is really grown up at the very edge, and then once you get in, most of the under... Uh, right, because if I can get up in the trees, I can see if there's a path, like, through behind the briars and hey, stuff. Hey, Nasha, five copper, he doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking. I think this is a great idea. <laughs> well, what do I roll to Get throw him? Athletics. <laughs> athletics. Athletics. And for myself, I it's gonna be a pretty good, uh, good athletics as well. Or? You can assist with athletics or acrobatics. All right. You know, I've got a grappling hook. 
Oh, oh that's really good. Go. He's definitely uh, twenty-five. Make... I got a nine total <laughs> from acrobatics. Okay. Um, so my throw is good. So, I also need you to now make a uh, athletics check or reflex. This is to grab on, hold onto the tree as uh, he's. That is a twenty with my climbing bonus. There you go. All right, so uh, how do you want to do this? A seltzer. <laughs> I'll take my five kappa when I get back. <laughs> I wasn't talking. <laughs> I, I quite eagerly walk over to Gazmac and I pick, grab him by his shoulders and sort of I throw him up in the air a little bit and then catch him again to get a better grip. <laughs> And then I bend down and I just alley oop, alley oop, like <laughs> underhand toss. To get hey, it'd be worse. Sports. At least he didn't grab you by the tail. Hammer throw. No, that would kill you. <laughs> that would have been perfect. All right, so yeah, you are able to grab onto the tree and you pull up a little bit. And now you're on a branch, probably about ten foot high. Okay. So you've made it. You've cleared the briars. All right. That was good, Gosmack. <laughs> I know. Nice. All my nice. ideas turn out great. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll take. I'll like just take a look to see if there's like any any paths or any anything else like going through. Roll the... perception. One oh boy. <laughs> uh, that's a whopping eleven. Okay. <laughs> uh, so on the other side, you do see that it is open and clear. Uh, just on the other side of the briars, the briars take about ten feet going in. And then after that, it clears out into like a grassy floor. Um, I I tap Co on the shoulder and I hand him a, like just a hanker rope and go here. As soon as you're so good at throwing, toss that up to him so the rest of us can get over there without. You you, you do notice that if you would have just probably taken about thirty feet up the line and crossed <laughs> over the fence, that you could have crossed just in behind where all those briars are. He saw that. None of you guys have you looked at all. Yeah. <laughs> there <laughs> so yeah just like about 50 feet so far enough that you're like oh it probably curves around the fence but yeah he can see clearly that you could just walk all right guys <laughs> you can come up the rope up of a rope this way if you want to or you can walk that way all right i, just, I took my rope but I it out, pack, start walking not, yeah. not all of you is throwable as me so <laughs> all right so they're walking around how would you like to get out of the tree uh <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to like the next tree branch or whatever that's that's past the briars and then climb down. Okay, make an acrobatics check. I'm setting myself up for a lot of trouble here. <laughs> that's a uh, twelve. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you you do make it across because the trees are still pretty close here, and you are able to climb down without much issue. You, you lose your footing there for a second, but you, your tail kind of helps you. From uh, actually falling, and you do make it to the ground. Generally, if you're jumping, you can you get to ignore the first what ten feet of damage or something. Generally, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're doing it on purpose. Yeah. Yep. Now, if you'd have whiffed. So. All right. So, are you guys meeting back up with Gazmac on the other side then? Yeah. I mean, if we have to. All right. <laughs> Roll perception. Fifteen. That's an eight. Yeah, I got yeah. eight too. Thirteen. All right, Co, uh, you are the first to notice, but there is an engorged creature uh, on the ground just about two trees away from where you guys are. I don't see what kind of creature it is. Just insect. it's it's an insect of some sort, and it is just swollen. Oh, okay. So, hey guys, I see a uh, engorged creature over yonder. <laughs> About two trees down. Let's go and miss. Oh wait, how big? I'm I don't gonna, know. Let's go find out. I'm gonna draw my rapier. All right. So you draw your rapier. You are looking at a blood sucker. Ooh. Blood oh, so you weren't. You weren't. Too, blood seeker. Yes. You weren't too far off on your. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a giant mosquito. Yeah. 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 Hey, but I said you make fun of me. <laughs> I've been right this entire time. This whole episode. <laughs> I said so time <laughs> flying. So yeah, yeah yep. I'll give you credit. <laughs> Is that interesting? 